Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial on how to do a knockout using the Fonto app. So we're going to click on the red box with the P. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see a camera icon. Click on it. And then we're going to select plain image. We are going to choose the blank canvas, which is in the top right. Now that we have our blank canvas, we're going to go to the top right of the screen with the square and the arrow. And we're going to select use. Now we have our canvas to create our image. We're going to tap the screen anywhere, hit add text. From here, we're going to select our font. So we will select font. And for this project, we're going to be using I Love Glitter. To achieve the look that we're going for, you're going to have to use special characters from your keyboard. So you'll be able to see that here coming up next. So first we're going to type the left bracket, my first name out of two, underscore to connect the names, and then my second name. And finishing off with the right bracket. Now we're going to take our text and move it to the middle of the screen. We're going to select style. We're going to change the color of our text so we can see it. And then we're going to move on to stroke, which is right next to text. We're going to change that color to black. You'll notice that after I selected my color black, the alpha button adjusted on its own. To adjust the offset in the back of the word, I'm going to push the width button to about 75%. That's my personal preference. Okay, now that I'm satisfied, I'm going to go back to text and I'm going to change the color of the text to black. And then I'm gonna to go to the top right corner of the screen and I'm gonna hit done. So we now have our official knockout image. I'm gonna to go to the bottom right of the screen. I'm gonna click on the export button, which is the square with the arrow. And I'm gonna save it as a PNG so I can email it to myself, save the image and upload it into Design Space. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and upload the image that I just saved. I feel like the uploading process, no matter what design system you use, Cricut, Silhouette, you should be able to upload your image into that system. I'm gonna save it here in Design Space as simple. I'm going to remove the background and don't worry about that empty space above the eye. It takes care of itself. I'm going to select Cut Image and Save. Now I'm gonna take the image and I'm going to upload it into my new project. And here we go. Now that we have our knockout, we're going to go to text and we're gonna type whatever word we want it to go over. For this case, I'm gonna use dad. I'm gonna go to my fonts and the font that I usually use the most is impact. From what I recall, it came with my Cricut design space options I didn't purchase it as far as I know so now I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of the knockout so I can use it for contrast when I'm placing it over the word dad I also don't like the spacing in between the letters dad so I'm gonna go up here to letter space and decrease that and then fix it up a little bit All right, and boom. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our knockout. We're gonna move this up and place it where we like. We're gonna go up to arrange and we're gonna move it forward. Sometimes it doesn't work and you have to move it back. So just toggle between the two and see which works out. Now I'm going to group these two images together, head to the top and center them horizontally to make sure that my images are centered before I go to the bottom right of the screen 
and hit slice. Now we're going to go in and delete all the layers that we just created using the slice button. And here we are. We now have our knockout completed. So I'm just going to follow through on this process for those of you who needed it. We're going to now fill in the knockout space with the words. So we're going to type the left bracket, the name, underscore, the name again and then the right bracket using the I Love Glitter font. This is a font that you do have to download and you can find it on dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T dot com. Now that I have my words typed out, I'm gonna go up to letter space and I am going to decrease the spacing between the letters. This is a quick and easy way to get the letters connected to an extent, not perfect. Well, at least not perfect for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean this up really quick. All right, so now I'm pretty satisfied and I'm going to fit my two pieces together to make sure that they are perfect. I'm gonna change the color of the words to make sure I can actually see and they don't get lost. All right guys, and there you have it. We have covered so much. We have covered Fonto, we've covered The Knockout, we've covered I love glitter, design space. If you guys have any questions, please just let me know in the comments. Just remember to like and subscribe.